Hey everybody and welcome to this month's tips and tricks video. My name is Dave Hiddeman. I'm the application specialist for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today's topic is a little bit of a rehash. Um, the creating of custom keyboard shortcuts. Uh, Lee Snyder did a video on this when it was new uh, to 2016 when we had the new UI change and then also introduced the two key uh, chord type shortcuts. Um, so today I'm just kind of refreshing because the the UI of the dialog box has changed, and um, I also wanted to share some of my favorite commands to have as keyboard shortcuts uh, to hopefully give you guys some ideas on what you can do with your setups. So first things first, if you want to see what shortcuts are available, you can go up to your file menu, you can choose the settings option, and then choose keyboard shortcuts, and that's going to open this dialog box. And here's where you can choose what type of shortcuts you're trying to create. Uh, you want to see modeling shortcuts, you want to see drawing shortcuts, you want to see planning shortcuts. So uh, for me, most of the ones I do are on the modeling side. You can also import shortcuts that were created by someone else, or you can export your shortcuts to share them with coworkers. You can also restore the shortcuts to sort of uh, go back to a blank slate, right, and reset it to the factory defaults. So here we can see a list of all of the commands that we can uh, assign a shortcut to. And they're, they're listed alphabetically, so you can come through here and just sort of search out the different commands that you want. Um, or you can do a search for that command. So, uh, for example, when I have a temporary dimension that I've created, I often, after checking the dimension, want to redraw the view, and I want to, I want to kind of clear that. Or if I put in a component or I edit a component, and you can see all the cuts and the fittings, and I want to redraw the component or redraw the view so that I kind of freshen it up. Uh, that's something I do a lot. Now, normally, what I would do is I would right-click in the background, and I would choose Redraw View. Um, or I would go up here, and I would uh, find under the View menu the Redraw option, and I'd hit Redraw Views. Okay, so either one of those would work, but if I have my left hand on the keyboard and I can just tap in a shortcut, I prefer to do things that way. So in here, I can search for a command, like I'll search for Redraw. Uh, down here at the bottom, we can see redraw all views, redraw current views. We can see, as I mentioned, the existing shortcuts that exist now uh, that are in the default setup uh, of Tecla structures. So then you can go ahead and choose the command you want to edit, and then um, you click this Enter Shortcut button. Now, once that button turns blue, Tecla is waiting for me to type something, right? So it wants to see what keys I want to use. And for me, I like using Shift-E. It's just something that I kind of got in the habit of doing. Uh, Shift E doesn't really mean anything, but it's a, it's an available hotkey that I can use here. So you can see it's giving me the Shift plus E. I can say Assign. And now if I come over here, well, first we can see that Redraw Current View has Shift plus E assigned to it. I can come over here, hit Shift E, and the view gets redrawn. So super simple, but saves me a second. And a second here and a second there, they, they, they start to add up right over the course of a day. Um, another really big one for me, let me scoot this out of the way for a second, is my views often don't sit like this. My views end up being sort of all over the place, and I've got different sizes, and I'm looking at different things, and after a while, it just starts to turn into this mishmash of, of stuff on my screen, and I want to I wanna tile my views again to sort of refresh things. Well, tile is a command under the window drop-down here. I can say tile vertically or horizontally, whichever I prefer. Well, it's possible for me to create a keyboard shortcut for that. So in here, I will search for Tile, and you can see Tile Windows Horizontally or Tile Windows Vertically, so I'm going to select that command, Enter Shortcut, and for me, I like using Shift-W, because I can use that with one hand, hit my pinky on the Shift key, tap the W, and get my Tile vertically. So now that that's assigned, I can come over here to Tecla, Shift W, and now my windows are nicely tiled out. That is a command I use probably a thousand times a day. Just getting my, my views reorganized, seeing what's open. Um, sometimes you have uh, you know extra views open that you kind of forgot about, and that Shift W really helps bring things up uh, and organize them on your screen again. So I mentioned earlier how Lee had done a, a video previously in 2016 introducing chords. Now hopefully most of the people watching this know what a chord is in Tecla. I'm not talking about playing a chord on a guitar or something like that. Um, in Tecla, you can do two key keystrokes. So it doesn't have to be 
you know, shift W is still technically one keystroke, right? I'm holding shift, but I'm pressing the letter W. A two key keystroke is, is sort of like a command line, right? It reminds me of my old CAD days where I could type in a command with my left hand. So for me, a big one is changing work planes. So I'm always changing work planes for things. So down here, like for example, on this building, I may want to change my work plane so that it aligns with the skewed section of the building. And normally I would have to go up to the work plane and then go down to using two points or maybe using three points. So here in the keyboard shortcuts, if I search, search for the word work and find my work plane using two points, set work plane using three points, uh, I'm gonna do the, the two points and hit enter shortcut. So this is gonna be a two key keystroke. So I'm gonna type the letter W and then I'm gonna type the letter two. So notice it doesn't say W plus two, that would be holding down the W. I'm literally typing W2 as two separate keystrokes and I can assign that as a command. So now when I go to activate it, I can type W and notice in the bottom left, it says W was pressed waiting for secondary key. That means that I can use the W as a precursor to many different commands. It's not like locked up now by just this one command. So I can type two, Oh, look, it looks like it took a little bit too long though. Let's go W2, it kind of timed out on me. And now I can pick two points and get my work plane using two points. So I like to do that for two points. I like to do that for three points. So I'll assign that as well. So now if I wanted to set this using three points, I can type W3, pick an origin, pick a direction, and then pick, I'll pick some random point up here. And now I've got my uh, coordinate system based on three points. Now, one last big one for me with work planes is the ability to reset it back to its original location. Now, in newer versions of Tecla, you do have the ability to come down here and choose model origin, and that will reset my work plane back to its origin. But if I wanted to assign a hotkey, there is no set work plane back to origin. I can set it parallel to the XYZ plane, but then I still have to choose which plane. I can parallel to a view plane, which would work for 3D, but maybe I don't have my 3D view open at the time. Um, so I, these, none of these are really just reset to default, okay? But there is a macro that will do that. So if I come in here and I search for work, there is this work plane global macro in my applications and components catalog. Well, you don't just have basic modeling commands available to you, you have component catalog stuff available to you. So as an example, kind of getting away from work plane for a moment, I can say, well, what if I wanted to activate clip angle 141 from a hotkey? Well, I can do that, that's an available command. So components and macros are also available for me to assign, which is really, really slick in my opinion. So if I use a particular connection a lot, Assign a keyboard, uh, keyboard shortcut to it. I'm having trouble with that word today. Um, so let's say that I wanted to do the work plane. So we'll do work again. And if I scroll down through here, you can see macro.workplaneglobal. There, I'll highlight it there for a second. So macro work plane global, and that will actually activate the macro, which resets the work plane to its global position. So I'm going to go down here, enter shortcut, and I'm going to do W, G. To, to me, that means global, okay? So I'll say assign, and then I'll close it now, but you can see that now that has been assigned to that command. So we'll say close, and now if I go W, G, the work plane is now reset back to its global position, which happens to be out here in the zero, zero. So for me, again, this, this type of stuff really helps me speed up my detailing, my modeling, um, when I want to, you know, like I said before, if I need to edit some sort of component, let me delete and undo. So now I've got my, my cut, my fitting cut there, and I may want to quickly uh, redraw my view so that's hidden. So now I've got all those commands available in my left hand. I don't have to right click. I don't have to hunt them down in the ribbon. I don't have to search them out. Um, I really love creating hotkeys. So Hopefully, uh, I've inspired a few of you to maybe create some of your own. Feel free to go ahead and list some of your favorite commands in the comments below that you like to put uh, a hotkey to. You know, there's other people in here that might be able to, to share uh, some of your ideas for, for speeding up their workflows. If you have any ideas or questions about future tips and tricks, go ahead and add those as well. 
Uh, thank you for joining me, and I guess we'll see you guys next time.